potty training can really stink. The key is to set up your vehicle, your car seat, and your kid for success. Check out this video. I'm gonna take you through the steps to do just that. Let's start by getting your vehicle ready for those kids that are in the potty training phase. First off, I like to have like a little potty training on the go kit. In this, I keep these things. A cloth diaper, which is super absorbent. So if there is an accident in the seat, I can at least get some of the mess out so we can continue to ride. I'll tell you about these in a minute. <laughs> wipes, always need wipes. I've got a wet bag. So for those clothes that are soaked and smelly, they go in here. Of course, a change of clothes, hand sanitizer, because you're gonna need it. So those are kind of the key elements if you've got an accident on your hands to kind of quickly and safely get things cleaned up and get back on the road. If your toddler gives you some warning that they have to go to the bathroom, maybe you're at a park, for example, and a potty isn't nearby, then the other thing I suggest that you have in your car is a portable potty. This one, you just flip it open. You pop them in the back somewhere safe. And then you line it. They come with these little bags that you can line it with. But a mom hack for you is sometimes these don't contain messes all that well. So I'd grab either a diaper or a pull up and stick it inside the potty right here so it can contain the mess. Then you're gonna grab it, bundle it all up. And now is when these bags come into play. You're gonna dispose of it in here, again, to contain the smell and the mess. When it comes to setting up the car seat for success, we're kind of limited on what we can do. You know that we're not allowed to add any aftermarket products to the car seat unless the brand manufacturer specifically allows it. So there are two car seats as of right now, Britax and Diono, that have their own potty liners that you can use just on their seats. So that's one way to avoid the mess on those two brand seats. There are a couple other manufacturers like Kleck, for example, that does allow a super thin towel on the car seat. A great way to find this information about your specific seat is on the FAQ page of the manufacturer's site. Often it's not in the manual, but it will be on the FAQ page on their website. Here's one thing I need you to know about because it goes all over the internet. We cannot add these lovely little potty, what are these puppy, pa puppy pads to the car seat. I know you've seen it floating around the internet. But in addition to the car seat manufacturers strictly prohibiting their use, they're slidey, they're slippy, they're not safe, they haven't been crash tested. The other thing is when you cut the crotch buckle hole in it to get it through here, there's lots of little stuff that can be pulled out and it could potentially be eaten by your children. This is also makes it really unsafe. Flammability is also a concern as well. So do not believe what you see, you are not allowed to use these. If potty training is gonna be a long process for you, your kiddo is taking a long time to get sort of adjusted to it and you're having a ton of accidents, or perhaps you're gonna use one seat and pass it down to multiple kids that will be in this stage, you may wanna look for a car seat that has an easily removable machine washable cover, or some even have a part in the bottom where their bottom sits that just that can be removed and you can wash that. The final thing is certain seats allow you to use their inserts at your discretion. So they don't have a certain weight limit when you have to remove them. Sometimes adding that insert back in to catch the mess can also be a strategy to make potty training a little easier. When your kid does have a mess on the go, you really don't have a choice but to kind of clean it up, suck it up and keep on going. So you're gonna get your kiddo out and I like these cloth diapers that we had in our potty kit in the back to kind of help you absorb any of the easy mess. If we're talking about something other than pee, then remove any of the like debris that you can and stick it in that vomit bag that I showed you earlier. I didn't say this was a pretty thing to talk about. Absorb the pee. You can use wipes that are 100% water, right? You gotta be very careful what you use on your car seat in terms of cleaning it. And then if you have a change of clothes for your kiddo, that would be best. And now might be the time also to put those water pants 
on them so that, you know, we don't have another accident on the ride home. And then head to the cleaning video and we'll teach you all the ways to clean your car seat after an accident. Also, do not use generic potty liners like this one. You may hear about this from your friends or when you're searching on the web. If your car seat manufacturer does not allow their use, don't use it. Now you know how to get your vehicle, your kid, and your car seat potty ready. I realize it can be a pain in the butt, pun intended, but you've got this. Potty training is a short period of time and with the right tools to prep yourself and your seat and your kid, you'll be good to go. I hope you learned something. If you did, click the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one. If you need help with cleaning, make sure you check out the cleaning video.